Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Ignite with me where we have the La Palina, Connecticut. Okay, now La Palinas, in my mind, are pretty good cigars. I like them. Uh, enough to where I try them. I always try to snag La Palinas when I can. When I see them, if I see something I haven't tried before, it's a matter of time before I snag up a La Palina. Okay, this is the La Palina, Connecticut. Um, and... Connecticut's are soft, much softer than a lot of the um, other things. It would be basically the opposite of a Maduro, which is dark and generally fairly earthy and such like that. The La Polina Connecticut is the opposite of these things. Any Connecticut is. Now, some Connecticut's will have spice and other flavors and such like that. But generally speaking, as a rule, Connecticut's are much easier to smoke if you're looking for just something very gentle on the palate. You know, generally speaking, a Connecticut, something like a Charter Oaks or maybe this La Polina. Now, I've never had this before. i got to try it. But I always, you know, always try to snag La Polinas if I can. And these are fresh on the shelf at Vitola Cigars as of this video, as per, de as per this video. Um... I was able to get one of these for $9.99 at Vitola Tuscaloosa. They just put it on the shelf, to my knowledge. But let's give it a smoke. Let's see what it's like. It's pretty good smoke so far. It's a very light wood kind of woody tones. I don't really necessarily taste anything creamy with this. That's another thing. You know, just because a cigar is lighter in color, don't assume that it has a creamy taste. Um, this is definitely a good smoke. I like it. Um... Now, before I give my rating of it, I would, I'm would i probably going to smoke a little bit more. But, indeed, I highly recommend the brand La Polina. Look for the pretty lady um, in cigar lounges and such like that. She's there usually somewhere. Um, so, it's a, it's a good smoke. There's nothing really bad to say about it. Some slight spice on it. Very slight. I would maybe say that this is an 8 out of 10. Still trying to get all the spice notes or all the different notes. I'm tasting something that reminds me of fruitiness, but it's extremely vague. This is a good smoke overall. I think you're really missing out, as I said. You know, try any La Polinas. Uh, La Polina makes any number of, and I know R and R has some. They have uh, usually silver and blue labels. Between the two, I am I, I believe if I it's been a long time since I had a blue label or a silver label. I have tried them, but I believe the blue one was my favorite. I think the silver one was kind of not my stick, as I recall, but. Indeed. Try it out. See what you think. Let me know in the comment section. I hope you all have a good day and be blessed and safe.